What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my Christ subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, Cap through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're 13,480 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Rope the links in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Love you guys. Okay, so um, this is Daily Tea for today for 7 16 of 2022. I hope everybody's doing fantastical. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Sorry, I'm tired. Oh. Yeah. So um, this daily tea, I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Um, I do, I do, I do. Um, everybody, please think of me. I have child custody battle tentatively on 725 of 2022 with my ex-husband. It's not the first rodeo with him. It's actually more like court date number five, six, or seven, something like that. But anyways, he has a history of um, taking me to court, a uh, couple child adju support adjustments when I become an RN. Started working in 14, which I understood those, but then things got crazy. He accused me of child abuse a couple years ago, and six years ago when I had a boyfriend, he pulled some crazy crap and manipulated my daughter, basically, um, to do it, to try to prove as evidence in the court of law I was content to court. A little down and dirty of it, so if everybody could just please think of me, I very much appreciate it. I would, I would, I would. It's supposed to be on 725 in 2022, but tentatively, so we'll see. Just saying. Okay, so the channel message, these are psychic intuitive channel messages, so one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply, only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else, you have to plug it in, how it resonates in your own particular life and situation, however it resonates and applies for your life. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, a feminine fraud is about to be exposed soon through many series of chain events. Um, I heard she will go to jail and then there will be other negative series, heavy negative series of chain events and repercussions for her. So you plug it in, how it resonates, um, some kind of fem fraud energy. Um, whoever this person is, I didn't hear a sign on her, but um, she's a fem fraud and she's frauded either you or somebody you're connected to and um, somebody's onto her ass or they're about to be. It could be you onto her ass or somebody you're connected to, but somebody's onto her. Um, I heard through many series of chain events, um, she will go to jail, and then there will be other heavy negative repercussions for her. I shuffled twice. I got coffin number 19. could be very a uh, very significant number in one's life, number 19. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life, number 19. Um, you could, uh, I feel for, we got the popping card, so Scorpionic energy. So for some, you could be a Scorpio onto her, or she could be a Scorpio possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates, Scorpionic energy with the coffin card in this deck, which is death card. So, I feel for some, you could be a Scorpio onto her, or she could be a Scorpio, or have Scorpio on her chart, or you could have Scorpio in your chart, and your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. I didn't hear a sign on her, but um, she is a fraud, and somebody's onto her, or about to be onto her. We've got the femme fraud in here. We've got the person onto her. So you have to plug yourself into the story and situation wherever you resonate if you do. Um, if this story is not for you, it's not for you. Maybe you just like viewing the stories. I'm not sure. But we've got somebody, the fraud, femme fraud, and somebody onto the femme fraud. So you plug it in how it resonates. She's about to be exposed in a huge way, a huge way, in a way she would have never expected. Okay, I heard she's about to be exposed in a huge way, a way she would have never expected. So she's about to be exposed in a huge way, a way she would have never expected. So I think one of you guys is about to expose her is what I think. I think one of you guys is about to expose her is exactly what I think. I heard she's about to expose it in a huge way, a way she would have never expected. So I think you guys are about to expose her in a way she would have never expected. Distant horizons, number 36, could be a very significant number of one's life, number 36, distant horizons. 
There are many series of chain of events. This is about to happen. There are many series of chain of events. This is about to happen. So through many series of chain of events, the exposure of the thin fraud is about to happen. So distant horizons in this deck is um, like futuristic energy. It could be long future or short future, but I heard through many series of chain of events, she's about to expose. So that's good. Spirit messages you have to talk to. Gift number 17 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 17, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any, any other significant number in one's life. Number 17, gift. You are about to get huge justice here. Huge, finally. It has been delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. You're a femme energy. Okay, I heard... Um, you're about to get huge justice here. It's been, del uh, finally, it's been delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed, but it's about to come. So whoever you are, I think you've been frauded or somebody you can, uh, you care about has been frauded. You're a femme energy. Um, and another femme energy has frauded you. Um, for some of these femme energies, I feel they could have ganged up and used like a group of people to do it. For some, they could have just done it on their own. I didn't hear how they did it, but, um, they definitely, whether they got help to do it or not, they had no qualms, no empathy, no sympathy, no remorse from stealing from you. That's for sure. And they did. So um, I think the gift in this aspect is like justice energy, like true balancing of the scales, Libra energy, um, the gift of justice in this situation, because it sounds like it's been going on a while or it happened a while ago. Um because I heard finally. So you plug it in how it resonates. The gift of true justice here. Because nobody should be stole from. Nobody should be stole from. That's financial abuse if anybody needs to hear that. That's financial abuse. I mean, that's just the truth. Nobody should be stole from. Gift. And you're about to receive a very unexpected gift soon from someone you would have never expected it from with an explanation okay and you're about to uh, okay so then a uh, person that was frauded and stole from basically heard you're about to receive a gift soon from someone you would have never expected um with an explanation so somebody's about to you're about to get your justice you've been frauded in some shape form or fashion and you're about to receive a i think is a physical gift I think it's a physical gift or a monetary gift or I didn't hear what kind of gift. Physical gift, monetary gift, maybe it's a gift card, um, some kind of gift energy from someone you would have never expected with an explanation. So I don't know how you're going to expect it. I mean, I don't know how you're going to receive it. I didn't hear how you're going to receive it. It could be through the snail mail, United States Postal Service. It could be through FedEx, you know, um, UPS. Um, they could come to your home. Hopefully they tell you before they come. Um, I'm not sure. You plug it in how it resonates. And no, a black magic coven is uh, disbanded. Black magic coven is under investigation. These people never thought it would become under investigation, but it's about to become under under investigation. Too many deaths have heard, have occurred in the past and recently. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so fem fraud. If this resonates for you, there's some kind of black magic coven. Um, that you either know about or you knew about or is in your community or world or what have you, what have you. Um, I heard they these people never thought they would get caught. They never thought they would get caught. But I heard it's about to be under investigation. I, these people never thought it would be under investigation, but it's about to be under investigation. 
um, or is under investigation. But uh, how that resonates, or they never thought they would get caught. They never thought they would get caught. Um, it's a hap about to happen a lot sooner than they think. It's about to happen a lot sooner than they think. So it's about to happen a lot sooner than they think. The Black Magic uh, Coven about to get caught. It's a disbanded Coven. So they have already broken up. The Coven's already broken up. Um, but it did exist. And I heard there's already been too many deaths in the past and the recent past. So uh, of this connected to this Coven. Um, these people never thought it, the COVID would be investigated is what I'm presuming, but it is, um, either being investigated or is about to be investigated. And that could be the gift too. Um, um, maybe the COVID harmed you in the past. That's what I'm feeling for some. Maybe they harmed you. Maybe they energy harvested off of you. Maybe they, um, uh, maybe that them energy fraud is part, part of the COVID or was part of the COVID. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but gifts coming to you fem energy if this resonates for you um you have to plug the message or messages in how they apply beautiful okay And a feminine energy is about to receive communication soon from someone outside her city. Very useful information inside their city. They they really would would love this feminine energy to come move to their city. They're about to try to help make this happen by providing information. Useful, helpful information. Oh, that's beautiful too. Wow. Okay. So you feel energy. You're well loved. I'll tell you that you're well loved and people uh, admire you or respect you or, um, or like you. They at least like you. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, they admire and respect you too, but you're definitely like, you're definitely like, you're about to get a lot of gifts. Um, I feel for some, um, you were so stagnant in the past. You were so stagnant and people basically created drama and craziness around you to where people didn't like you. But it sounds like at least people outside your city like you. Um, now, whether people inside your city are not like you, I'm not sure. But definitely there's at least one person outside your city that likes you. Um, it's a masculine energy. It's a masculine energy. Okay, so it's a masculine energy outside your city that um, they like you. Now, I'm not talking about liking anything. It might be a way, but I don't feel it is. It feels like a platonic way. Um, only this masculine energy knows how they feel about you, not anybody else. But um, but it's definitely, at least in a platonic way, I'll tell you that. They positively like you um, in a positive, positive energy kind of way. But I heard they basically are going to communicate with you soon and give you some kind of helpful information about something inside their city. I don't know if it's employment or business opportunity or uh, housing or a good neighborhood or what have you, what have you. Some kind of very useful information I heard that would um, that would be beneficial to you if you basically move to their, uh, that person's city. Um, that person apparently likes, likes you enough to where they would want you to live in their city. I'll tell you that. Um, so no negative energy here, high vibrations, high vibrations. So that's beautiful. So um, he's treating you with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity by giving you this clear cut, honest information. Um, like I said, he likes you so much. He's giving you the information in his city. He doesn't, he wants you to move to his city or he's interested in having you moving to his city, how that resonates. I mean, he doesn't hate you enough to, because if he hated you, he wouldn't give you the information. He'd want you to stay far away is what I'm saying. So um, whatever information this is, I don't know if it's information on a job uh, opportunity, a business opportunity, investment in the city, or, um, or um, some kind of information in his city. It's a masculine energy that would help you. Um, 
however that resonates with positive energy. Wow. Just saying, just saying. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. All right. Well, I love you guys so very much. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, my dear, and namaste. Oh, if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly via word of mouth and social media. I very much appreciate it. Single mom of two kids. So it helps support a single mom of two kids in one of her income streams. I very much appreciate it. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys, and namaste.